Good evening, friends. This is Chris Armstrong with EXP Realty. We're going to do some fun with photos tonight. Um, let's add a little bit of motion, kind of liven up those photos that you have. Every once in a while, we'll get a great snap, and we want to share it, and it's just a really special picture. Well, today we're going to put a little movement and some show you some other options that are built into your Windows 10 that a lot of people don't know about, and it's free. So, so certainly uh, we can spice up this picture, right? It's a beautiful picture, but with a couple of clicks, we can add a little fun to it, right? So, let's go. All right, friends, I've got my picture. Got a picture of a fire pit with some chairs around it, so let's have some fun. So once you click onto your photo, in photos in your Windows 10, you can see right here, there's a drop down called Edit and Create. Now, most of you think uh, most people use this for cropping, but let's dive down deep and see what else we can find, right? So, we're going to go to Add 3D Effects. So, this is going to boot up. Okay. So, as you can see, we have all kinds of fun effects to choose from, right? You got graffiti, you got fireworks, some flying bats. Halloween stuff, it, it, lots of fun things to do. Remember, this is all free inside your Windows 10. And I'll show you how to, uh, There's a, I think there's a way to upload even more kind of stuff to add later on. So let's, uh, how about we put some fire in that pit, right? So you're going to go, you're going to find the uh, effect you want. Go ahead and click on it. And it will put it out here so you can move this around anywhere you want to put it uh multiple times if you want to have multiple fires so let's uh for now let's put this let's have a nice roaring campfire right there now at the bottom of the timeline you're going to see this is this is kind of your marker of where you're at in the video and this is the duration of the fire or or, or an effect or your effect that you're working with so let's make it go all the way we're going to start it right about there. Sounds good. This is kind of trial and error, so just play with it a little bit. And let's see how this looks. I like it. We need to move it up just a little higher. All right. Nice. Nice little fire going. So let next, uh, let's see. How do we want to start that fire, right? Well, let's just say that we got hit by lightning now important note as of now you do not have to save a copy because it after you save you won't be able to change any of the current effects that you have on the picture so let's go ahead and keep it like it is go directly back to effects here let's find that lightning bolt and there we have a nice lightning bolt and let's put it right in the fire and down here you can see there's your shaded area that is for your lightning bolt. So let's put it right here at the beginning and let's see what that looks like. Let's run our cursor back and nice. Love it. Okay, so now that we have the effects in place, uh, let's put in some, some uh, graphics uh, text. And uh, so right now we will save a copy. And I'll do that real quick. Should bring up our finished product here. We're going to save that. Yes, I do. Okay. Now, now you're back to the, your, uh, this is your copy of what you've done. And... Uh, when you get to this point, there's no changing of, of this, So, but it's very easy. If you make a mistake, you can just go back and do it again. So at this point, we're going to go back up to our Edit and Create. And we're going to drop down, and let's see, Add Animated Text. So now we have another menu. So here's some more things we can choose from. Let's go ahead and put, the first thing I do is put the text in the box to see what it's going to look like. So let's put in Home. Sweet home. Okay, so there. Once again, down here, this is the uh, the distance that your texts are going to be on your picture. We want to just kind of get those down here. 
So home sweet home, pretty basic, right? Let's have some fun. Let's make something nice here. So let's put in this loved, has a little bit of fog behind it. I like it. And, uh, and one other note down here, you'll see the layout. This will change it from the top. So you can do it up there, top. Any graphics that you put, you can kind of aim it around your photo. Okay, that's kind of nice too, but for, for now we're gonna keep it at the bottom. So you're gonna run this back and let's see what it looks like when it's all done here. Nice. Now we can do an, another step too. If you look at the top, you're going to have uh, filters, and this is going to change color, of course. We're going to keep the original today. And then there's your texting tool, captions, and then also right here, this is motion. So let's, let's pick one of these. Let's try zoom in center. Now the whole picture as a whole will move a little bit, and let's see if that adds any fun to it. So now the whole picture is kind of painting. So, as you can see, we added a lot, much more life to the picture and, and making the picture a little bit more fun to watch. Remember, you have endless, endless ideas that you can do just by doing that drop down and that adding those 3D text. There's objects you can place. There is a multiple, multitude of things you could do. A lot of great for intros to a video. Uh, for your YouTube videos or your Facebook videos, put a little five second intro. You can go crazy with the text. You can really decorate the picture up a lot. So, so I hope this helps. Remember, this is uh, Chris Armstrong with Florida Lifestyle Team with EXP Realty. And uh, this is another one of my free tips and I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe and uh, we'll have another one tomorrow.